I think there are a few figures throughout the 20th century that really changed the course of contemporary art. And I think uh, among them are Duchamp, and Warhol, Boyce, and I'd have to say that Eve Klein is one of the other figures that I think actually repositioned art in the 1950s and the early 1960s. That's for me what's extraordinary with Klein. How much of what we take for granted right now in terms of art practice existed as a seed in his work. He is not that well known in this country at least. He's had numerous exhibitions in Europe, but very few exhibitions in this country. Really only one other retrospective exhibition about 30 years ago. Because of him, I think we have conceptual art, minimal art, light and space art, installation art, performance art, many, many things that happened in the 1960s and 70s that may not have been quite the same anyway without the influence of Yves Klein. A theme that will, is running through the entire exhibition is this notion of immaterial. Can we reach the immaterial? Can we reach an art which is immaterial? Can we reach a culture which is immaterial, meaning free from material possession, material burden, to privilege a spiritual or intellectual way of living? Klein looked to the future. He looked to a sense of the positive. He looked to a sense of the futuristic. He looked to a sense of the utopian and returned that kind of thinking into modern art, something that had been lost during World War II. The first room of the exhibition, which is uh, saturated with blue, with the iconic work that Klein produced uh, with his iconic international Klein blue. International Klein Blue, IKB um, as it's known, of course is a, is a formula that Klein invented. And he was searching for a color which had vibrations to it and had a depth to it when you looked into it. He was a big fan of reading Gaston Bachelard. Bachelard says, first there's nothing, and then there is a deep nothing. And beyond that, there is a deep blue. What he was doing was saying, my paintings are not metaphorical at all. My paintings are pure representation of color. There is absolutely nothing abstract here. This is the color at the purest level you can imagine. This is the presence of color in the space, on the wall, for what it is. So when you see one of Klein IKB painting, you have to think of this is not abstract. This is pure space through pure pigment. You have the rain here, and the rain is its color in space. It's a moment where color has left the canvas to be in levitation in, in the middle of the gallery. Klein's work is, is light, in a sense. It elevates you, it levitates you. And his personality was that way as well. It was one that was not heavy. It was one that was light, was amiable, was carefree to a great extent, and that I think took a lot out of the magician doing the performance or the conductor doing a performance. When he creates the anthropometries, he almost conducts it rather than actually painting it. So one way to look at it would be, well, maybe an anthropometry is the last step before the moment artists will start to do performance. He always claimed that what we see here, painting and sculptures, are the ashes of his work, meaning that he was trying to get out of the canvas. He was trying to challenge the conventional notion of a work of art is a painting on the wall or a sculpture on a pedestal. Klein was trying to instill a sense that things are possible and that uh, painting doesn't have to just be an object on a wall, but can be a gateway, uh, a sort of corridor. It can open your mind up to other states. What is extraordinary with Klein is that he thought everything was possible, that there is no limit. We can do anything we want if we work on it.